Have you ever wanted to finish Sacred Woman training, but you didn't have anybody to do it with? You weren't sure exactly what to get, or you weren't even sure how to set up your prayer altar. Well, now you will, because in this episode of Sacred Secrets, part one, I'm going to give you a full supply list, tell you how to easily set up your prayer altar, and get all your sacred stuff without going broke. So if you're ready to get started with this really cool, fun, and informative video, continue to watch. Peace Queens, it's Ani, the African pinup girl, and welcome to Pinup Entertainment. If you're new here, please go ahead and tap that subscribe button and that bell. I don't have to tell you why, you already know the drill. If you are returning back, welcome back family. Make sure you're also subscribed and you're being notified. So what is Sacred Woman? Sacred Woman is Queen of Fula's path to purity, purifying the body, mind, and spirit. It is a transformative textbook for women of color that states, this process shall address dead ovaries, women needing hysterectomy, menopause, fibroids, pelvic inflammatory disease, heavy menstrual cycles, long menstrual cycles, and PMS. There has been an overwhelming amount of hysterectomies performed on women of color every single year. During a hysterectomy, a doctor surgically removes the patient's uterus. The uterus is the womb, it is the creatrix of civilization. When women have this surgery performed, it affects their estrogen and their progesterone levels as they often decline. So what happens is you get symptoms like facial hair growth, you get hot flashes, and other unpleasant menopausal symptoms. In order to combat these effects, we need to embrace the sacred woman within. This will unlock the creative vision needed to transform from a regular woman to a sacred woman. In much the same way, a caterpillar transforms to a butterfly. Are you ready, sis? Let's heal. Many people don't know about the 25th dynasty in Egypt. It was the Kushites slash Nubians who conquered and then subsequently ruled Egypt during this time. Yes, black faces. Comedic women had way more freedoms than Greek or Roman ancient women and they even owned property. So it was really no telling how long the Nubians were actually in Egypt. If historians admit to one dynasty, how many years was it really? Sacred Woman uses hydrotherapy, herbology, diet, and exercise to heal the feminine mind, body, and spirit. So let's transform. Step one, setting up your altar. Use a room or area that is private and undisturbed by the public. This will be your private prayer area where you can go to pray and also invite some of your family who's on the same page as you so that they can pray at your altar as well. You want to place the table in the spot where your altar will be. This table was super easy to put together. Um, it was only like 30 bucks and I got it right from Amazon. Everything that I got for this process will be linked in the description box for you below. Next step is to mount pictures if you have them above your altar, which will be a picture of your ancestor, your sacred self, an elder, and a contemporary. I'm still working on getting everything that I need to hang on my wall. I need some more pictures. So I use this chakra wall hanging just as a decoration for now. Now cover your table with a clean white tablecloth and let's get the other supplies together that we need. So here are the supplies to enter into the first gateway. You'll need a food offering, which is fruits and grains in a bowl for your offering. Small piece of blue cloth for this gateway, the color changes in each gateway. We need a white ostrich feather, which symbolizes air, as well as is a symbol for my eye, which is balance. Enter my free feather giveaway now by entering a comment that says feather. We need a small piece of velvet or silk for our ankh to be placed on. So we also need an ankh. The ankh represents spirit. Now we need pure essential oils of frankincense and myrrh. We need a white or blue candle, which represents fire. Your sacred stones for this gateway are turquoise, black tourmaline, or moonstone. I decided to color code my stones with this gateway since it was blue and white, and I'm also using tiger's eye for focus. I suggest you use the stones for your particular healing intention. We also need a plant or some flowers. This will represent earth. You will need a small bell or sacred instrument like a harp, drum, or a rattle. So you'll see my next step is to just take my scrap piece of fabric, which is navy blue. I know it looks 
uh, black, but I'm going to just fix it up and put it in the middle of my altar. Every single gateway, you'll have a new color scrap fabric to use. So pay attention to your particular gateways instructions. So for my fabric, I didn't pay anything. I had some scrap fabric laying around. Um, I sew, that's why if you guys find that you don't have any fabric, go to the fabric store and get some remnants, which should be cheap. You can use a white sheet for the white fabric or anything you have laying around for your, um, your color fabrics. You can even cut up some clothes. Just make sure every single thing that you put on your altar has been clean purify cleanse so you'll need to either clean it with um, purified water saging it or other purification um, methods once each item has been purified and cleansed you're going to start building your altar by placing each item onto the altar the book says your feather needs to be on a small pedestal or raised stand so i just added a statue and placed my feather on top of it I placed my food offering on top of the altar, which you have a choice of either grains or fruits. And then I placed my small piece of velvet fabric, which was just a fabric bag. And I placed my ankh on top of the piece of velvet in the middle of my altar. You can place your essential oils on top of the altar. I like to put mine on the lower shelf. You will also need purified water for when you pour libation. You can also use a tantric quartz crystal egg, which I don't have yet. And we'll also be working on our prayer shawl later on in sacred sewing. So go ahead and continue to build your altar, put your bell or your instrument on top of your altar and continue to add the other elements like your sacred stones. Want to join the virtual sister circle where we discuss the book more and get all our questions answered? Click the registration link on my pinned comment. Go to the blog post for more info, which I will link in the description box for you as well. We're going to get into the action steps for Gateway Zero on the next episode of Sacred Secrets. So please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share with a sister who could use it. And most importantly, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode. Peace.